Does anybody but me really not want to go back to normal? I've mentioned before that I believe we're all in the same storm, but not necessarily in the same boat. Some of us are more seaworthy than others, simply by virtue of where we were when COVID-19 hit and the economy shut down. Just like the virus appears more virulent and even deadly to some of our society, like the elderly, others with medical compromises, nursing home residents, so the economic timeout has affected some more critically than others. Stimulus payouts have aided somewhat, but bureaucratic snafus and slow responses have left many I know struggling still. And the future isn't clear at all. Many professionals are clearly enjoying a boom during this timeout. I know builders, remodelers, landscapers, home improvement folks are all putting in 70 hour weeks around where I live, making hay while the sun shines. Most professional work from homers, while many have been hit with a pay cut, are finding their time more productively budgeted and the work-life balance equation is working out in their favor. Who needs that hour and a half commute anyway? The entertainment and restaurant industries have been totally flattened. Many iconic restaurant venues in the St. Louis area have announced they've given up. They quit. Kaput. Professional sports outlets are still on lockdown. I miss my Cardinals and our local St. Louis FC football team. We traditionally make 10 to 15 Cardinal games a year, 8 to 10 soccer games. But do I really miss them? Do I really miss eating at our favorite lunch joints every day or dinner venues every night? BC, before COVID, we did just that, mostly because our life was so packed with things to do, shopping and cooking got pushed aside. I don't know about you, but I've slowed down since mid-March. We cook almost every meal at home now, something that hasn't happened in our house since the girls went off to college. We find time to walk four to five miles a day, between my wife and I, we've lost 20 pounds. I sleep like a baby, wake up when I want, because my gym hasn't been open. I'm asking the question because the world is beckoning us to start getting back to normal. My gym was open this morning, with masking and wiping and distancing, of course, and I set an alarm for the first time in three months. Damn, 520 came early. Is that what I really want? Well, what's next? The Cardinals might start playing baseball, and I'll have to figure out which days or nights I've got to work around that schedule and eat bad-for-me ballpark food. Is that what I really want? My clients may actually want to see me in person, and I'll have to put on pants. That's not a requirement on Zoom or making monthly Moment of Clarity videos. Is that what I really want? How many of these really want questions can you ask yourself as you give in to getting back to normal? Maybe you want to consider modifying your normal because you've learned some things during this reset that can improve your health, your relationships, your general well-being. And if you're one of those underwater and stuck in limbo by this one-two punch, then I clearly understand you can't wait to get back to normal. But consider this. If you rush back to normal now, you may never see another reset button like this again. I'm giving it a lot of thought. It's Kim. And this is another moment of clarity.